Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the dissolution of the Thai parliament. And we don't really like to get overly political on this channel, although legality does have a tendency to kind of rub up against politics or policy making. But this is a pretty important milestone, if you will, just historically even for Thailand. I think it's, it's worth noting and it has legal ramifications. So Thai, Thai parliament has dissolved. I thought about, I, I, in my print copy of the Bangkok Post had a headline that just said house dissolved and somebody around here threw it away. I was intending to just hold it up in this video. But yeah, the, the house has dissolved. What does this mean? Well, effectively it means sort of the peaceful transfer of power to whatever the forthcoming government will be has been initiated. And I would just kind of like take this opportunity and for those out there, if I'm gonna get burned by folks in the comments or whatever, I really don't care because quite honestly, you haven't been here. Most of you, especially foreigners that are talking about certain things having to do with this and just, I'm not trying to be negative, but oftentimes I, I don't think you fully understand the, the practical implications the day-to-day -day implications, just everything that's gone on. But you know, this is kind of the culmination of about eight years here, going back to 2014 to the coup. And I do have to say, I, I really, I gotta take my hat off here to Prime Minister Prayut. I, you know, I've been heavily critical, oftentimes on this channel, of certain things, things associated with the government, things associated with his government. And I'm not gonna sort of apologize for that, but, I do have to say, having been here for all of this, the stability provided the last eight years in light of the massive changes that Thailand has dealt with in, in both a broader historical sense as well as you know the more acute stuff, like just for example, the COVID lockdowns and things, which as we've discussed many times on this channel, I had serious issues with. But at the end of the day, you know, we got through that and we've, we've gotten the country reopened. Could things have been done differently? Yes. Could they have been done better? I think in many cases probably, and I think reasonable people can disagree. But long story short, I got to say, I got to take my hat off to Prime Minister Prayut, now caretaker Prime Minister Prayut. You know, this has not been easy. And maintaining stability and letting people get on with their lives and, you know, earn their living with all of this crazy stuff going on, you know, swirling around us at all times, that, that takes a fortitude and it, and it takes someone who clearly cared about the country to, you know, undertake that sort of task to, to sort of just move things forward, if you will. So again, the, you know, there are probably some in comments or whatever that would view me as sort of an apologist or something. Not my point at all. I've been here. I, you know, I've gotten a pretty good glimpse of what the alternative could have been under many circumstances. And honestly, I don't think it would have been better. In fact, I think it would have been far worse. I was here in 2009 and 10 when we saw things get rather out of hand and that was not a good scenario that played out. So long story short, this is a very good development. And I think it's, it, it's put this country on the path to you know, a good path moving forward and a path towards seeing the, you know, the future of Thailand being brighter than it has been in the past. 